Welcome to Storytime. Today I'm going to read a book called Do Not Lick This Book, and it is written by Aiden Ben Barak and Julian Frost. This is Min. Min is a microbe. She's small, very small. Can you see this dot? Microbes are so small that 3,422,167 of them could fit on that dot. There's an asterisk that says, give or take a few million. Microbes live everywhere. Can you see where they live? Min lives in this book, and if you could look really, really closely, you'd see her. Can you see her? She says, I'm bored. This is a photo of paper really close up. Let's take Min on an adventure. Do you see the circle on the next page? That's where Min lives. Touch the circle with your finger to pick her up. But you can take your own book and touch your book and pick her up from whatever book you have nearby. Min is now on your finger. She says, away we go. Where shall we take Min first? Min says, take me to your teeth. Okay, let's go. Open your mouth and carefully touch your front teeth with your finger. Now let's look really, really closely. This is a picture of your teeth up close. What a strange place teeth are when you look really, really closely. No wonder it's a good idea to brush them. It's time for Min's next adventure. Touch your teeth to pick Min up. While Min is there, she introduces herself and she talks to the other microbes. She says, whoa, this place is weird. I'm Min. What are you guys up to? I'm Ray. We're digging cavities. Want to help? They're saying, yuck, can you smell toothpaste? Hey, kid, brush your teeth less and eat more candy. Looks like you've picked up Ray as well. Where shall we go next? Would you like to visit a shirt, Ray? shirt. All right, let's explore your shirt. Put your finger on your shirt to send Min and Ray on a new adventure. I'll touch mine. Now let's look really, really closely. Whoa. This is a photo of fabric. Really, really close up. What a strange place shirts are. When you look really, really closely, no wonder they need washing. Now it's time for Min and Ray's next adventure. Touch your shirt to pick them up. Dennis has come along for the ride. We have time for one more trip. Where shall we go? Shall we visit a belly button, Dennis? What's a belly? Okay, off we go. Put your finger in your belly button and wiggle it about. I got mine. Now let's look really, really closely. Whoa, this is a photo of skin. 
really, really close up. What a strange place skin is when you look really, really closely. No wonder it gets itchy. So here's Min. She says, hello, we're Min, Ray, and Dennis. And this green guy says, I'm Jake, welcome. We don't get many visitors. Help yourselves to a delicious chunk of dead skin. This one says, ah, I do enjoy a nice drink of sweat on a hot day. This one says, did I tell you about the time soap got all the way in here? I don't like scary stories. Put your finger back in your belly button to pick up Min and her friends. Let's put Min and her friends back in this book. Min says, that was fun. Now I'd like to go back to my book, please. Can we come? What's a book? Here's a good spot. There's plenty of room for everyone. You can put Min back on your book too. Where will you take Min tomorrow? Here's a picture that shows what microbes really look like. So Min, who's blue, is an E. coli. And it says E. coli live in your intestines, but they're good at spreading, especially if you don't wash your hands too well. Dennis is a fungus. Um, you probably picked him up while playing outside. Ray is streptococcus. And they live in lots of places, including your mouth and they help cause cavities in your mouth, and that's why we brush our teeth. Jake is a corny bacterium, and they live in lots of places, including on your skin. They're big fans of dirt. So there's our book about microbes, and this helps explain why we wash our hands. Even when they look clean, there's still microbes on them, like men. So it's important for us to use soap and water and wash them well. Even though we can't see it, they might still be dirty. So thanks for reading along with me, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye!